15 euros? Something like that. $20 a day. That's like, you know, in Southeast Asia, you can rent a motorcycle for five euros a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you're in Budapest. Yeah. This is Sea Laird. If you guys remember Sea Laird from my, uh, my uh, other video. What was the other video? Oradia. Oradia. Right. So we're going to get a bike, uh, bike here in Budapest. And he's a local, so he's going to show me all the insider places that you don't know about. Nobody knows about. Right? All right. Can you see yourself? Yeah. This is my new uh, backpack loaded. Look, I can use both my hands. Architecture. This is what the guys, they go around the cities and they, they just creep on hot girls with these chest, these hidden camera things. I think that's what they're doing. They put it up here. No one even notices. Yeah, it's a good. Okay, let's go. I have hands free. I'm living in the future. All right, see you later. We're going to check out a ruin bar. The best ruin bar in the city. The best ruin bar in the city. What's the deal with ruin bars? What are they? Just bars that are built on ruins? Exactly. <laughs> so welcome to Simpla. Simpla? It means uh, simple. I try to keep it simple. For simple people, for simple people with simple minds? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is really cool. Some, uh, okay, so it's like, okay, so it's, it's the daytime. So these are all different bars that you come to in the nighttime. They're all parties? Not party people, just sitting and drinking and chatting. So not really the dancing place, but uh, it's a very popular place to go out. Mm. Oh, that's a toilet. <laughs> it's a toilet. I'm like yeah. filming the toilet. <laughs> there is a market now. I didn't. I haven't been uh, daytime. Yeah. What are these? What is this? Oh, they're uh, recycled. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. Waste nothing. That's awesome. So right now it's a market and in the nighttime it's it's a it's a big party. Well not a party according to C Laird. Just people get getting their drink on. Dealer, I, sm I smell marijuana. Yeah, I also smell it. That's against the law in Hungary. It's punishable by... No, no, no. It's, it's, not, it's not legal to do it here, but no one can really control it. I never smell marijuana in Hungary or in Romania. Only once, like, I was in, in a trail, on a bike trail, and there was one guy with a bike smoking a little bit. I never smelled it, but in Canada, you smell this everywhere because it's legal. <laughs> Yeah. Authentic food. See, Laird, I was wondering about like the prices of food here. Like, so an area like this where it says it's authentic Hungarian food. In, in this area, in this district, everything is so fucking expensive. So, really. <laughs> so, where do you go to get like real Hungarian food at normal prices? Uh, go to your mom. <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, maybe there are some some restaurants a bit outside from the from the center. Where you can get a, is it a price. new thing that people eat out, or is it always in the Hungarian culture to eat out at restaurants? Well, I think uh, 
uh, many tourists are here who are eating out or, or a few Hungarians but because uh, this is probably not so cheap all right so here we have some some boobies Budapest bicycles and see Laird said it's about 15 euros per day which I find I think that's really expensive but we're gonna get one anyway what is this place passage it's uh, maybe the, the best party area in the city okay let's take a look Oh yeah, I can see this being fun at night. There's long, long passageways going in both directions, probably full of bars and bistros. Here's an actual, here's an actual bike rental shop. So see, Laird's just asking them how much it is. Yeah. It's uh, 4,500 forint for, for, for a day. Mm -hmm. This is a trucking bike, so if it's good for you, now we only have this. Because uh, there are the road bikes and there are the e-bikes. Looks fine to me. Okay. All right, I've got my stallion. I'm ready to go on, a, on an adventure. Wait, 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 that way. Which way? I'm just getting warmed up, baby. Let's do this. You can ride it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wish me luck. <laughs> I will. Here we go. Going wild on the streets of Budapest. What's the plan, boss? Uh, are you filming? Oh. Yes. Yeah, we, we, we should then uh, go down to the riverside, and there's a bike road all the way along the riverside. Okay, we're, okay, we're going to go along go the river. To some very, very cool place. To, to. There's a Jewish synagogue here. This one is the main synagogue, the biggest synagogue in Europe. In Europe? Yeah. Really? Look at all the people. Let's do the bike way. Busy here. What's going on? I'm gonna walk this bad boy a bit. I'm not sure what's happening here. It looks like a book fair. Oh, it's an author signing and a book fair. <laughs> Interesting. There's a literary scene happening here in Budapest. Church. Wow. 
checked it. Look at that, that's the basilica. Let's go take a look. Huh? Let's get closer. You want to check? Yeah. Okay. There it is, the Basilica. It's pretty big. There's a lot of weddings happening in Budapest. Everywhere yeah, I go, I see, I see weddings everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the summer is the wedding time, so. You like this building? Yeah, why wouldn't I like it? You don't like it? Yeah, it's okay. I have more uh, favorite uh, churches in the city, but Fine. It's too much popular for me and too much touristy. But Are you religious? Kind of, yeah. Are you a Buddhist? No, no I'm not a Buddhist. <laughs> I'm a Christian. Let's do it! So that's the U.S. Embassy. That's the U.S. Embassy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Americans, and if you have the trouble. Parliament. And this is Ronald Reagan. Oh Just yeah. Whoa, Ronald Reagan. Look at this. Ronald Reagan. The man. Everybody hated him when he was. When he was in power, everybody hated him. When he was a, a film star. <laughs> yeah, he was a movie star, and then, and then he became president. Architecture. I guess you know this building, it's parliament. No, I've never seen it before. No. Well, I've seen it from far away. Ah, okay. Now that's, that's like closer. That's the parliament. It's huge. Yeah, that's the island. Right back to there as well. It's very nice. Yeah. yeah. The infamous Budapest stags. Oh, they're gonna meet another one. It's a gang fight. Look at this. Two stag parties in the wild. They're meeting. They're gonna collide like like two gangs in the night. So there's some bars and restaurants here. We're gonna check out. Cheers. 
What do we have here? Oh, sweet. Some ancient ruins. Medieval. Medieval, yeah, it's very old. It's from 13th or 12th century. So the 12th century. Yeah. Back in the good old days. So this was an, uh, an ancient medieval nunnery where uh, there was a very famous uh, nun here, the daughter of one of the most famous Hungarian kings. Uh, it's called Margaret. And that's why this island is called Margaret Island after her. And she lived here? She lived here because she was a nun. All right, let's check it out. I hear singing. They're having a monk party over there. Sounds like the nuns are nun party. They're having, <laughs> they're having a nun party. You can't see them, but you can hear it. the size of this tree. So creamy. Has a bit almost like a citrus to it. Tastes like there's some kind of vegetable in there. Citrus? Oh beans. Really good. I thought you meant like a different kind of bean. And this is just a schnitzel, right? It's something like that, but from uh, from chicken. Mm -hmm. So the original schnitzel is from um, beer. Mm -hmm. No, this is from chicken. Yeah, chicken. I got it's not hungry at all. So. It's delicious though. Sealer's taking me to another riverside bar. This one's called Kebin. Let's go check it out.
check out these little cabins you can get. Yeah. The city has a lot to offer. Check this out, huh? I think it's not allowed to swim here, but uh, people still tend to do it. You're not allowed to swim here? Yeah, I officially it's not allowed because there is no uh, dive bar and whatever. It's probably really cold right now, anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, when it's hotter, people tend to tend to swim here sometimes. Hey, you drink enough beer, you'll swim in anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how do I say cheers in Hungarian? See, it's called Egeshegedra. Egeshegedra. Almost. <laughs> 